Welcome back for yet again some more Europa Universalis 4 with the Veritas at Fortitudo mod installed. So, uh, last time we recovered a bit from uh, our attrition, war of attrition with Austria. As you can see, they are yeah, very much a shadow of what it used to be. And now we are basically going eastward, expanding the empire. Because, well, guess what? Our uh, rival... Uh, Lithuania was at war with two people and now they're at war with uh, still two people <laughs> and very much losing so all the allies are not willing to join uh, resulting in basically free-for-all for us um, or a cakewalk or however you wish to uh, pres yeah, prescribe it but uh, yeah we're just gonna like roll a bit further Be just because we can you know and let's see Okay, um, and we finally have one cannon. It took some time. Our economy can't really support a cannon just yet, unfortunately. But uh, in due time, we should be able to uh, do so. Okay, so this is like not really a raw war that's requiring too, too much attention. I mean, we will just win very easily. Okay, uh... Let's see, with a focus on free trade, our merchants are concerned that they are not getting the support they would uh, would get in a, um, a more mercantilist policy. So, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's take that one. Free trade is not too, too um, good in the beginning, I, 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 I imagine. But still, oh wow. Yeah, we are just steamrolling through. This is... Too, too funny. <laughs> uh, this is like the first war we have with, with Lithuania. This is, yeah, the, the best moment to attack. You're just like, mm, excellent. Okay, just uh, continue as you were. Um, can we actually build something worthwhile at this point? Okay, and we have already won this siege. Right here, also get uh, start sieging this one down and that one down. So, yeah, let's see. Can we build anything worthwhile? Buildings, buildings, okay. Um, army wise, we could tax modifiers, nope. Trade marketplaces, you already have one in Danzig. Anything here that's worthwhile. Uh, we might build one here and here. Seems like a logic place. And well, also here what might be worthwhile. And it would appear that we are not really doing anything with our um, what you call it diplomats. So that's. Make sure that everyone still remembers me and still needs me as their ally. Or at least as their uh, emperor. Okay, now also have this one siege down. I don't really want you to move too far up. Maybe seeing their capital. Wait, their capital's right here. So, yeah. Um, you still have an army which could still be annoying. And it would appear that we are now only fighting each other. Um, right, take the siege over. And... Hmm. Uh, let's see. We will fight you first. Okay, there we go. Die, die, die. Okay. Okay, good, good knowing you. And... Uh, we now have... You've gained an alliance, Casas Belli, against... You. Because... Why exactly? Are you fighting a war of independence? War of Hungarian Hungarian provocation. How in the name of anything did that did that happen? Oh well. Thanks for playing and 
sure. So our main goal is basically to just get all the ports in this area so we can profit of trade. But um, perhaps there is um, something else worthwhile in these little things. So like, ooh, what's this? This is wax, wool, grain, timber, or livestock. Short province, also livestock, furs. It's not really oh beer. Ooh. Well, wax is apparently pretty pretty worthwhile, and timber as well, I suppose. Okay, and we can further improve. Uh, do we want to? Let's see. Maintain, maintain. The first one is National Tax Modifier, which will... Yeah, yes, please, just... Thank you. Um, we are still focusing heavily on... Uh, military technology. Because that's, in my eyes, more important. So if you can conquer m multiple provinces, which will result in more money. Or just increase the resources you already have. Uh, Okay, do I want to go to next level already? I think I do. So we can now actually have new infantrymen. Early Condotta and Scallop Infantry. Okay. Perhaps not the best time to do it during wartime, but hey, it's like another nail in the coffin. They, they don't have. They already don't have any units to support their. Uh, yeah, independence. Or however you want to frame it. Okay, it sucks that we still don't really have a navy to really do much, but yeah. And Sweden has denied or oh, stopped our military access. Okay. Let's see, what do I want to do? Because this uh, it's not really, in my eyes, worthwhile to uh, completely kill Lithuania. I mean, there's no, no real need to, to do that. Because otherwise someone will just get bigger off of them and we will really profit from that. And we need to profit in any situ every situation, you know. That's the way you must look at this war or this game. Profit in any situation possible. If not, well, then well, you're not playing the game op most optimally. Okay, land technology research useless. We just increased it. Uh, we'll just ignore them. Full prestige. Okay, and we almost have like mm, all this. Nice. Uh, perhaps we can also, well, depending on uh, the aggressive expansion we are experiencing. I mean, we have so many fronts to go to. There's a southern front, the eastern front, the northern front. And it's not really useful to go west, but we could if we wanted to. I mean, we need, yeah. In a way, it's not really handy to, to eat the whole... Uh, <laughs> The whole Holy, Holy, Holy Roman Empire, because within a certain amount of time, you actually get it for free, you know, if you just play the game right. Okay, uh, give me... Okay, now we're just gonna improve this one, because we've let it, like, rot quite a bit, and then we can build docks. Which is nice, because, yeah, with docks you can uh, increase your naval force limit. Automatically. Okay, I can't move anywhere just yet. Um, sure. Perhaps we could just take this one as well, so we can just move on to Riga. Just instantly uh, start to fabricate a claim on Riga. Okay, naval neglected. Uh, shipbuilding costs and time for one year. Okay, perhaps we can do something with it. And we have no interest for now. Please tell me that we make... Oh, fuck, we need to take a loan again, don't we? Uh -huh. Yes, we do. Call a crusade against Tunisia. Okay, we can spare some manpower because we have so much. And we had to take a loan, bollocks. And another military leader has died. Okay, just... Give me this one, and then we can talk about peace of some sort. Uh, 
And luckily we will almost have the capitals. Well, Imperial Ben against France. Take Barois. Hmm. Yeah, France, you're becoming a bit too big. Uh, so, okay, there we go. But we almost have the capital. Please give me the capital this turn. This, no. I need it. Full annexation. Almost. <laughs> well, I, I won't demand full annexation, but... It would be nice to get it. Come on. How many defenders are there still left? Mm. There we go. So 99%. Okay, I want this all. How would people react? Hmm. It is four additional grass of expansion. However, it would mm. knock you out of the sea almost. And this wall cost me 33. And can I? Well, I, I need to humiliate, humiliate you, of course. Take all your money. And... Yeah, that's that's it, I suppose. Bam! So... There we go. And conquest against Lithuania. We've lost it. And Lithuania is no longer valid. Ah, nice. And... We have now abundant lumber. Naval force limit. Okay, and... We'll just you know keep you guys happy. Good. Okay, with with uh, with this set, we'll just now continue doing this. So uh, let's see, Danzig is now in the hands of Riga. Uh, oops. I need you to go to Lübeck. Okay, and you as well. Off you go. Okay. And uh, we now are no longer a rival. Let's see, study technology. Huh. Uh, you here, revoke embargo, and now we will need to get Kipchak. Who the f oh, <laughs> who the fuck is Kipchak? But sure, apparently we are already stronger than Kipchak. Right, uh, Kipchak, you suck. And you can no longer have uh, any any trade thing with, with, with me. Okay, issue embargo. Yes, please. Okay, how are we looking here? We have five because... Yeah, we don't really have too, too many people in the Empire. Um, sure. Okay, uh, first off, let's repay this loan. Off you go, thank you. And then second, um, we're not worrying about well, Teutonic separatists. separatists. Okay, that actually is a problem. So we will maintain, have uh, our maintenance maintained. Right, uh, I want to check my war exhaustion. Quite a bit high. So, plea for help with rebellious nobles. And lose diplomatic power. Regensburg, defense helps. Okay, or... Yeah, I, I happily trade 50 diplomatic power for... Uh, some imperial or... Versus imperial authority. Okay, so we'll start our course here. And France has declared war against Tunisia. That's like a useless one, but hey. Uh, Tunisia, who are your allies? I mean, my question is, can you then actually ask your ally to join? So, how are you at war? Oh, two wars. Let's see. So, England, Brittany, and Portugal over defender against the English conquest of Vic. And the second French Crusade against Tunisia. My God, I've never done uh, the Crusades, and especially with this nation, it's not really worthwhile because I don't really have the ships to support a Crusade. However, uh, my question is, what 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 would happen? Oh well, uh, well, okay. The Black Death will be active in the province for upon upon two years, and may spread to neighboring provinces. Oh, good God! 
Okay, Black Death. Not really the best thing to ever have happened. Uh, you want me? So you're a nation of France, your faithful allies requesting you to come to the aid in the Burgundian War for independence. Okay, uh, I suppose this is time to flip you off, in a way, because you're getting a bit too strong. So England is your rival, so is Hungary, and so is Kipchak. Um, yeah, I have two of the same rivals. Or can we... Um, my question is first, are you losing? Or Burgundy is basically annoying you, more or less, and Vic. What the f... Okay, what are you going for? Okay, so England wants this Scot Scotland thing, and then you... Um, do I want a war right now? Do I want to be friendly toward France? Because France is way too strong already, and denying him now would well, cost me prestige. But I'm not, I'm not really convinced he will lose this war. So we'll just... Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll gladly accept. Because, oh, it's only gets Burgundy. Okay, uh, would you be there and just solve this war for me? I mean, just do whatever you want. Okay, let's see. Low Bavaria still wants military access. Let's see. Uh, sure, you can have it. Jeu de pomme. Yes, we will. Okay... How much aggressive expansion do I have? 11, because of these provinces I just took. Okay, seems fair enough. Uh, so, yeah, this, this is the end of uh, this episode. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please, GameStop. I'd like to thank you for watching. And uh, as always, please leave a comment down below expressing your opinion about this video and or series. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. So, thanks for watching and uh, bye.